Good morning, baby. Oh. Uh, good morning. You headed to work? Yeah, my Uber's here. I put guests in the car last night and left it for you to handle your business today. <laughs> oh, thank you, baby. I really appreciate that. Oh, damn, you look so good. I don't want to leave. Uh, will I see you tonight? Yeah, yeah, of course. Great. And I also want to say that I'm sorry for tripping again last night. You know, I just get paranoid. But I just love you so damn much. Yeah, um, I love you too. I appreciate you acknowledging when you're in the wrong. Accountability is key. The therapy's going really well. Just keep being patient with me, okay, baby? Of course. Anything for you, baby. <laughs> okay, gotta go. I just love you so much. Good morning. Yeah, I'm a gigolo, community peen, player, Casanova, or a fuckboy. But I consider myself a professional man of leisure. Don't judge me, it's offensive. I am simply providing the needs in the current sexual marketplace, giving fantasy and fulfillment. Why wouldn't I? I'm handsome, I'm educated, charming, and I know how to slang. So I bust my ass like some average looking dude just to get some ass. I'ma give you a look into my day to day life. The day in the life of a fuckboy. I gotta say hello to all my lovers. Rule number one, always level up. Women do that shit all the time. A man gotta have all this shit together just to have the opportunity to get some ass. I think it's sexist for anyone to think that a man such as myself shouldn't be awarded the same opportunities as a woman of my caliber. Where was I? Oh yeah, rule number two, do not fuck with broke women. I repeat, do not fuck with a broke chick, okay? She ain't got her own house, her own car, her own job. She can't get any of this beef cake. Nah, nada. Good credit only. Bad credit females, they're a huge no-no, okay? Ladies, hate me if you want to, but the game has changed. Rule number three, keep your body right. Yeah, I know I'm blessed enough to be attractive. See, attractive people are known as being wealthier, healthier, more socially dominant, more trustworthy. Because of that, we get a lot of opportunities and the average looking dude can only dream of. See, an average looking dude gotta put in work. He gotta work hard. 
get shit, maintain it, just to have the slight opportunity, yes, I'm asked. Let alone nail it. See me, I never had to work for ass. Ass just falls on me like rain. I just gotta be prepared to catch it. And that's where preparation meets opportunity. That's why I'm here. Preparing myself for the right opportunity. I gotta take this. It's my girlfriend, Nikki. She's a bit warm today. Watch this. Hey, what's up? So what time will you be home tonight? I got a networking event, baby, for the company, all right? Is something wrong? I just feel like sometimes you don't respect me or this relationship. Gaslighting 101 right here. Oh, baby, I'm sorry you feel that way. You know I never do anything to disrespect you or our relationship. What I did was put it back on her to make her think that she's tripping. She's working this shit out on her head right now. Watch this. I love you, baby. I love you too, baby. I love you so much. And yeah, I trip all the time. I'm sorry. So what time will you be home tonight? Right after my networking event, all right? I'm gonna take good care of you this evening. I love you. I love you too, baby. Bye. All right, see you soon. <laughs> she thinks I'm in sales and technically I am, so I ain't lying to her. <laughs> Being a fuckboy isn't for the faint of heart. looking at me like that. Because you a sexy ass woman. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. I was a doll. Stop looking at me like that. Looking at you like what? Like you want to eat me up. <laughs> Maybe I do. <laughs> you want me to stop? No, not really. It just makes me feel the way when you look at me like that. <laughs> As it should. Mm -hmm. Got a question. What? We've been messing with each other for about three years now. Mm -hmm. How come we never get serious? <laughs> what, did I say something wrong? You just killed the vibe, baby. The whole vibe. What, by asking a question? Yes. You know I'm already married. And you, I repeat, are not husband material. You're community dick. Community dick? It's kind of offensive. Look. Don't take this the wrong, baby. But you're a fuckboy. I enjoy my guilty pleasure. But it stops there. So why are you married, Doug? I know he ain't fucking you the way that I do. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> but he does so many other things. He's a good provider and father and husband. Basically, he provides the lifestyle that I want. <laughs> the dick, yeah, it's all right. So he's a four out of five. You provide good dick. <laughs> he provides everything else. And you don't feel bad about messing around with him like this? Sometimes. Oh, but wait. Yeah, I'm on a guilty pleasure, baby. I ain't not here being a hoe. And I'm a good wife to him. I'm discreet. I would never publicly embarrass him or disrespect him. 
He thinks I'm not gonna lie this class when I'm here with you. <laughs> Notice the studio across the street. He's got GPS tracking on my phone. It's a smart move. No. Damn, it makes me feel good. <laughs> you really got all this shit figured out, huh? Yeah, I do. You see, most women waste their whole years in their 20s. I was with Doug then because he was smart, he had drive, and vision. I knew he would be a good provider, and he loved me more than I loved him. My kids are good. I've got one in college and one on the way to college. Yep. So, basically, I'm financially stable with the family. A lot of my friends can't say that. So I figured now's a good time for this little girl to stick her toe into the freaky end of the pool. <laughs> Hi, baby. Just leaving Pilates class. I'm here with Brienne. Talking about lunch later this week. <laughs> What's funny? She just told me a joke just before you called. <laughs> I'll call you when I get in the car. Okay. <laughs> Love you too. You are good. <laughs> Gotta be. Cougars are great. They got time, money, and they got shit to lose. They just want a tune though without any drama. I learned this. Everyone, men, women, all need a little bit of an excitement in their lives. Especially women like Sonya. They been riding the same dick for five, 10, 20 years. They just want you to come knock off the car wheels without fucking up their money. Man, Sonya been messing around for about three years and to be honest with you, it's the longest relationship I've ever had. Well, it's not really a relationship, more like an arrangement. But fuck it, whatever works, right? You know you can cash at me. No, cash only. Doug tracks everything. He's OCD about expenses. Cash is untraceable. See you next Tuesday, right? Of course, baby. Oh, I left enough cash for the hotel. And buy something nice for yourself. I'll do that. <laughs> it takes a lot of time and effort to keep all this shit together. That's why I have a fuckboy support group where we meet up and exchange fuckboy best practices. Would you like to meet them? They're a great group of guys. So here's a crew, Reggie, Chad, and Alejandro. Reggie's the black guy, has over 40 years of experience. He's 50 years old and he owns his own shop due to his hard work and being the best high-end fuckboy possible. Chad, the white guy, he's in his late 40s. He's doing really well in the older female target market. He was once in the military, but he got kicked out for fucking too many of the officers' wives. Yeah? Mm-hmm, you miss daddy, don't you? Baby, you know I'm gonna give you some loving. Hey, hold on real quick, okay? Yeah, Daddy's here. Oh, how are you, Muffin? You miss me? Uh-huh, I miss you too, you know that. Yeah? Well, listen, baby, I'm on a conference call right now, and then I got a meeting I'm gonna go to, but I'm gonna call you right after that, okay? All right, I love you too, Muffin. Yeah, daddy's back. So you gonna be a good girl for me or what? What are you gonna do all that? Hmm, I can't wait. All right, I'll be over tonight after my meeting, okay? All right, love you too, baby. Bye. 
Truth be told, he kept his pension because he knew where the bodies were buried. But he's a good guy, and he brings a wealth of knowledge to the table. Then there's Alejandro. That's not his name, but, you know, women like the exotic sound and shit, right? He's in his late 30s and on top of his game. Margarita. 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 Use the tongue. Use the tongue. I can't hear that part. Oh, hello? Hola, mi amor. Como estas? Si, 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 estoy trabajando, mi amor. Si, si, vengo a verte en unas horas, lo te prometo. Ay, no, 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 no. Deja de hacer pucheros, mi amor. Por favor, te lo pido. Sí, nos vemos pronto. Deja de joderme, mi amor. ¿Qué? Una canción. Bueno. Te amo con la fuerza del viento. Te amo la distancia y el tiempo. Te amo la alegría y el chanto. Te amo con mi cuerpo y mi alma. Te amo, te amo. Sí, mi amor, sí, sí, acepto tus disculpas. Sí, corazón, yo sé. Siento una conexión cósmica contigo, ¿no? Eh, bueno, baby, eh, tengo que ir. Sí, mi amor, sí. Adiós, adiós, mi amor, adiós. Te amo, te amo. And lastly, there's me, early 30s. I'm the baby boy of the group. All in all, there's over 100 years of fuckboy experience and it is a great resource to have. I'm so lucky to be a part of this crew. So gentlemen, what do you have in your cuffing pipelines? You wanna start? Mm -mm. Let me start. Okay. Brand new prospect to the pipeline. She's about 65. Okay. Super wealthy. Breeze through the qualification and needs assessment stages. Okay. Now, she's in the proposal stage. All right. She hasn't asked yet, but I can tell. Ooh, she's Whoa. ready for daddy. Oh, well, that's I'm good, that's good. That. Here's a quick teachable moment. Each of us sell values to our ladies. Emphasis on selling value and keeping sugar mamas in our pipeline. There's four stages to the cuffing process. Prospecting, qualification, needs assessment, and finally, the proposal stage, where we close. So how do you know? All the signs are there. She already gave me the keys to her house. Oh. And you know, my motto, give me time, that bank account is mine. <laughs> <laughs> but this time though, she wants me to propose. I think I'm gonna slow play it. That's the uh, best way to go. Here we go. <laughs> Jay Boludo. You did the same thing last year and you didn't get cuffed until just before Thanksgiving. Do you remember that? Eh? You gotta you gotta close earlier and think longer term, hermano. You gotta think big. Eh? What you wanna do? Eh? What do you wanna do? You wanna end up in your car again? <laughs> Man, listen to this wet behind the ears, hermano, telling me how to cough, huh? Look, last year that shit was a blip on the radar, all right? I mean shit happens. A hiccup. Besides. But that clingy one that you just let go of. Adios, Santa. I mean, wasn't it me who helped you get out of that shit show of a situation? Uh, hmm? Okay, you got me. You got me. You're right. My, my apologies. You know, that clingy bitch you're talking about? <laughs> she wouldn't let go, man. She didn't care about anything I did. I mean, I couldn't even go to the house. Oh, 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 and... oh, oh, oh. Look, 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 look. Let's not dwell on bad deals. Alejandro. See? We've all been through that, baby. Now what kind of leads do you have now? Yeah, I got a good one right now. A cat oncologist. I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> she, uh, she's in her 40s, childless, mm, un mamacita. She's got vacation properties in Miami, the Outer Banks, and a timeshare in Las Vegas. Not only that though, not only that, she got a 401k and a high six figures and a beautiful, hermoso stock portfolio. Huh? How'd you like that? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. She, uh, she got any friends? <laughs> yes, yes, of course, she, uh, she does. But I'm still in the needs assessment phase right now. As soon as I figure out her why, I'm gonna cough her up real nice. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> 
Man, there is so much knowledge here. Cuffing is a term used for short-term relationships that usually last over the holiday and winter months. It's our busy season. We're like the Louis Vuittons of short-term arrangements. See, a good gigolo doesn't want to pay anything. The better gigolo you are, the less you pay. Top-tier gigolos like us pay no rent and we get a stipend. The goal is to shackle with a woman of high value throughout the winter months. Play the game a little bit. Take her out, meet her friends, meet her family, and when spring comes around, you spread your wings. But in order to do that, you need to have a good layout strategy. One that's as painless as possible. The best strategy is when she thinks that it's on her. But you always need the time to break up around March. Right. So what's your status? I mean, man, son, you've been rocking for about three years now. But I gotta keep her in these assessment phase. She won't leave her husband. Ah, un quilombo. So, so she's comfortable with her current provider, El Bobo, see? I still got Nikki, though. But I'm not gonna lie, man, she's been complaining and whining quite a bit. She's been all paranoid lately. She keeps talking about that I'm not giving attention to her needs or something like that. I'm like, I don't know, Brian. Sounds like you might be slipping on customer engagement. That's right, man. I mean, we're in the value selling business here. You gotta sit on the same side of the table, not across from the table with her. You do want her to renew, am I right? I don't know, Chad. I kind of like the short-term arrangement. Works out way better for me than the long-term. Relationships be like three to six months tops. Perfect. Baby boy, you got to stop playing and marry one of your sugar mamas, all right? You got to own your own shit. Look at here, baby. Look. You cannot sling Peter forever, all right? Now look, you see this shop right here? It's mine. Now I own this. Now I got coverage. I got medical, dental, and even vision from my sugar mama. And we travel four times a year on her dime. Now you got to play the long game, young blood. Yeah, but uh, who paid for it? Yeah. What the hell kind of dumb question is that? She paid for it. Look, <laughs> look and it's in my name. And look, my name is on her deed, too. Now, look at here, man. I worked hard for this. Jay, you are a legend. Respect. I want to be just like you when I grew up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will, brother. You will. One day, you'll be an OG just like me. <laughs> Dispensing wisdom while sitting on a multi-million dollar portfolio. <laughs> now, you know that cat oncologist thing? Yeah, that's promising. Just keep up with those engagement activities. Okay. Okay. So tell me, Rich, how many baby mamas you got now, huh? Including the wife. I got three high-end ones now. Look, it's better to have quality than quantity. quantity. Yeah. Huh? Safe. See, now, it took me a while to realize that. But, uh, shit, I'm practically a millionaire right now. Retired. Man, how do you not want to tag everything that's moving? So much ass out here. I, I don't get it. You serious, man? I mean, you can't be serious. You've been sitting here at the big boys table with us for how long? Dos años. Two years. Two years now? And still? Man, I'm gonna have to do an intervention here, aren't you? Go ahead. Please. For me. For us. Stop fucking around with every little thing that wants to move, especially the low-end project-type chicks, okay? Good time. Oh, you keep fucking with them, and you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna end up getting one of them pregnant, and then what? You're gonna die. Yeah. You're yes. dead. Crazy. Ask Jerry about that. You know Jerry? Yeah, you know why I don't know Jerry? Because Jerry's in that trailer park right now, changing his baby's last fucking diaper. Because Jerry wanted to fuck around and Jerry found out. Now listen, you need to get yourself an alpha female demographic, one that's educated, that's right. financially stable, one that wants that upper middle class dream. You need to find a woman to bring something to the table. The doctor, the lawyer, right. yep. a VP, director. <laughs> 
boss bitches, as they like to call themselves. <laughs> now these women, they have no motherfucking time, but they want it all. And you can give that to them, my man. That's right. You can give that to them, like a purse or a car. You are their physical accessory. You give them the illusion of that picture perfect lifestyle they so desperately crave. Know your roles, brothers. All right. Stay in your lanes. Sell that fantasy and sell it fucking well. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. You gotta listen to this guy, man. These are words of wisdom for all of us, huh? Oh, that's my baby mama calling. <laughs> oh, that's mine too, huh? Duty calls. So what do you say, gentlemen? This time next week? I'm here. I'm here. All right, all right. Well, look, before we adjourn, let's toast to the Wall of Fame. To the men that showed us the way and the light. Fuck boy Hall of Famers. Tom Arnold, Kevin Featherline, 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 and Eric Benet. Eric Benet. We salute you, my brothers. The higher. Hey brother, you okay? It's gonna be all right for you. I just get a little emotional just thinking about their sacrifices, you know? I mean, without them, we wouldn't be here. Nobody. I agree. Yeah, you about to get me teary. Yeah. Gotcha. Salute. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. <laughs> Why do we all drive the same damn car, huh? <laughs> I wish one of my ladies had a Tesla or something. <laughs> Champagne problems, my man. I Champagne know. problems. I know. You're sport, young blood. Sport. Look back in the day. When I started this thing, a Cadillac was the status symbol. Well, that's pretty fun, Cadillac. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I mean, we all like the same type of women, so why wouldn't they drive the same type of car, right? One must calm himself before getting into a confrontation with his girl. She's right. I went missing last week, didn't call, text, but I can't play into that shit, right? So one must stay cool, calm, and reasonable at all times to de-escalate the situation. I'm gonna show you how this works. You ready? This is weird. I'm fucking tired of you, you cheating, lying, hey, Nick. lazy, slick motherfucker. But, Nikki, you, you're paranoid again, baby. Just calm down, remember? I will not calm down. I put an air tag in my car and you spent two hours at the Marriott downtown today. What the fuck were you doing there, ba Brian? Oh, what? I, baby, I wasn't at the Marriott. Doesn't matter. Babe, babe. This is all Nikki. the shit you came with. That's all the shit I fucking bought babe. you. And I changed the locks on the house. You so give me my fucking car keys. We're done. Babe, We're no, done. No, no. Babe. Nikki. Nikki, open the door. Well, that went fucking bad. I'll give her a few days to miss me and then I'll circle back. Until then.
looking for Nicky? Yeah. You don't look like Nicky, man. Yeah, I know. Come here. I can't believe you did this shit to me after everything I did for you. You are a sorry ass excuse for a man. You better not ever fucking call me again. Three, two, one. And another thing, you will never find another woman better than me that loved you more than me or treated you better than I did. You fucked up. Why do you make me act like this, Ryan? Fuck you! You better not ever fucking call me again! She's still processing. Three, two, one. I just love you so much and you keep hurting me. I hope you get everything you deserve for what you did. Well, baby, how about us circle back and we can talk things out, right? Worming your way back in my house? Homeless motherfucker. Look, do me a favor and don't ever fucking call me again. Adversity is a part of life, but it takes a whole nother level when one chooses to be a professional gigolo. That other level is learning how to pivot through adversity got to break it down into small manageable steps. My first step is finding a place to stay tonight for free. <laughs> Why are you calling me? No, you are never supposed to call me at home. Why are you trying to blow up my situation? You are breaking protocol and I got shit to lose. Me and my husband. No, babe. I just hit a rough patch. I need a little bit of help. Help with what? I need a place to stay. Like, just for tonight. What the fuck? Like, I just need a place to stay for, for tonight or... or Cash should get a hotel or something. I paid you today. What, you smoking that pipe? You and that shit something? Oh, baby, you, you know how it is. No, I don't. Look, boo, I paid you to do a job. And I sincerely thank you for doing such a wrong job. But that's it. Is it like that, huh? Yeah, it's like that. And if you break protocol again, I will cut you up. Out here acting like a damn thot. Oh, you're trying to ruin my situation. I thought you were a pro. Right. It's Brianne, babe. I'll be back in a minute. Don't you ever call me like this again. Do you understand me? Understood. Good. So. I see you for my appointment next week. Yeah, of course. Great. All right. Have a good night. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Well, that's the game. Pivoting again. So where does one find lonely women in need of comfort and intimacy? Well, I'll show you. Now the first one, she's 
she's a head case. Way too open. Second one is all about her business. And to be honest with you, she looks boring as fuck. Third one, that's the mark. Look at her, dozing off. She's bored. She wants a distraction. Watch this. What's your name? Dana, and you are? Brian. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Brian. So, uh, do you always meet girls at coffee shops this late at night? Generally, no, but I must admit that you have really captivating energy. <laughs> oh, really? So, what's so captivating about my energy? Once you tell me why a beautiful woman such as yourself is sitting in a coffee shop alone on a night like this. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I'm looking for something. Or someone? Mm, maybe. It depends. Depends on what? Depends on your answer to my first question. I'll close this deal within 30 minutes. I can tell she hasn't been dusted off in a while. And from the look for her body language, I know I can get it. Cuff, shelter secure. <laughs> well, that's a day in my life. You gotta watch the feature film to figure out what happens next. Until then, so yeah, uh, how far do you live from me? Not too far, maybe just right up the road. Okay. I get so tongue tied when you look in my